everyone and welcome to the mini toy love channel and today I have a very special video at least for me I love Monster High I'm very sad that it's no longer a thing but the 99 cent store had Monster High minis they had the Halloween series like what that's that's crazy because that was impossible to find and they also had some series one so I kind of sorted through codes they're hard to see um, and at this point I don't even care because they are just super cute whoever we get will be very much welcome and look at here's a couple cuties from from previous openings. I've opened a lot of these on my channel and I still think they are one of the cutest little mini dolls ever made. So, and I stand by that. So let's see what little cuties we get from this series and hopefully there's some new ones to add to my collection. First up, we'll start with the Halloween ones. I think I have six of these and five of those. So lot, lots of fun cuties. And I've assumed that there's six in this series to, to open. So if my eyes didn't deceive me, I'm hoping I got different numbers. I have a feeling I didn't though. <laughs> They're really hard to read. Okay, but these had the orange coffins. Look how cute that pumpkin is. Okay. Adorable and oh yay, we have Frankie. Oh gosh, these are so cute. So let me see, then she was number 30, if, if I'm not mistaken. Look at the colors. I absolutely love the Halloween ones. Oh my goodness. Halloween's just right around the corner. She has a pumpkin dress and little stitch socks. The little orange and black streaks in her hair. How cute is that? Okay, so comment down below what you miss about Monster High. I pretty much miss everything. I loved all the characters, although Draculaura was my fave. Okay. I love them all though. They're oh, so cute. So here's a look at the checklist and I wonder, oh, that's cute. You get like a little beautiful coloring card. So there's five in the series. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, here we go. No, there are six and they do have different rarities too. So, um, Frankie's a common, Oh, Dracula is a common too. They have Claudine. Oh, Look at um, Cleo there. She looks kind of like a candy corn. That's awesome. Next up is series one. And I know they came with like different alphabet codes. Oh, so I, ha I have no idea. <laughs> that one I was just like, as long as I don't get the same number, I think I'll be okay. But as you can see this one, I can't, I can't see. It's B27 maybe? I know it was the letter in the last two numbers. So just in case, if you come across them um, at the 99 cent store. Oh, we have Skolita, right? That's awesome. I You can get her in the Halloween series. Oh my goodness. Look at how cute she is. I love the little flower design in her eyes. Her little skeleton <laughs> dress. Oh, she's super cute. So on the checklist, is she an original ghoul? I believe so. Yeah, original ghouls there. That's cute. They're all, um, oh no, they're not all common, but she's common in that category. So then these were the circus ghouls, which those are awesome. Power ghouls, getting ghostly. Oh, they had a ton in series one. Beach ghouls. I don't remember many of those. The ragdoll ones. Yes, those are my faves. Um, sleepover ghouls, candy ghouls. Okay, also my faves because those were glittery. Um, and then pattern ghouls and space monsters. So that was a huge series one. Okay, interesting. We'll, we'll see which ones we get depending on the codes. I think all of them had the, the letter B in front, if that means anything. <laughs> Back to a Halloween one. So inside, oh yay, we have Claudine. Oh, she's so cute. <laughs> she's wearing a black cat dress and look at her little face. I love the way they did her eye makeup and of course her fangs. She looks like she has a little frowny face. Look at her shoes, our little cat faces. Okay, that is absolutely adorable. She has her little black tail there. So let me see, I mangled the packaging. What number was she? 32, it looks like. See, now in studio light, you can see a little bit easier. So, awesome. Okay, if I don't get the whole set, I'm going back with like 
<laughs> my my phone flashlight just something to try to figure this out oh my goodness they're so cute back to series one and ooh, we have gosh i've forgotten their names is this katrine no it's not um it's a little rock star kitty and look at how gorgeous she looks I love the color and the design on this. I'm assuming this one's gonna be a pattern ghoul, or maybe not. Yeah, a pattern ghoul, and she's a common. Something you are, ah! You guys will have to let me know the name of this cutie. I, I love her design. Love the hot pink and the silver stars. So cute. Next Halloween. I wonder if Hasbro has anything to replace this series. Ooh, look at the Laguna. She's a mummy. How cute. What's the next sort of doll line for them? Oh, she's adorable. And she has um, a little pumpkin on her mummy outfit. Okay, that is so awesome. Wow, she is gorgeous. And she's actually one of the frightfully uncommons. Her and Skeleta are. So that was awesome. Okay, I mean, we'll the package, but let's see what her code was. Um, 34? Looks like 34. Cool. Okay. I remember they had the blue series of coffins, too. I think that was series two that had, like, the teddy bear ones and the fruit ones. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I need to go back and rewatch some of my old videos because I love them. Oh, cool. We have Venus. And it looks like they have a circus school, I think. They have a cool eye makeup. <gasps> yeah, look at how cool she looks. Okay, I really like the circus schools. And I love that diamond pattern going on with her black and hot pink. So cute. And she is a common. The little swirly stuff in her eyes. So pretty. Next little Halloween cutie. And remember that these can interconnect. So I've linked them up so they have like one piece and then they're going to snap together. So I still have all my coffins. They're actually sitting. Oh, what did I do? Right behind me. <laughs> and I want to get like a little shelving display in this room. And um, if so, I'm going to line them all up in their coffins because right now they're in a big Ziploc baggie. <laughs> oh my goodness. We have Cleo. <gasps> get her out fast enough look at how cute and she's the other fantastic find so yes we found the two i guess rarer ones and she does have a candy corn and she looks happy for a change <laughs> look at her cute little smile she looks adorable probably because she's wearing a cute candy corn shirt and she kind of has the hair to match okay that is awesome she is precious so she was number 33 it looks like number 33 cool and i think i remember standing there literally for like a half hour going through these and i could not find a 33 um and then finally when i did it was pretty clear i thought it might have been a 35 but yay so happy <laughs> so in case you're looking if the codes are right she is at number 33. okay we have two more of the series one left And let's see who's in here. Oh my goodness. I remember they came out with the pet ones too. Those were the last ones that they weren't blind bags, they were packages. Oh, we have a Frankie and we have a ragdoll. Oh, how cute is that? <laughs> Look at the button eyes. That just reminds me of Lala Loopsy, which I also love those mini dolls. And let's see, she is a pink, so she's a fantastic find. Looking, looking super cute. Okay, let's take a look. So let's see. Oh, this is 31, perhaps? I think it's a lot easier once you remove the plastic so you don't have that glare. So yeah, that's definitely 31. And, oh yay, we have Draculaura. Oh, she's so cute. Look at her little bow. 
She also has a little pumpkin. It was hard to see at first, but she has a cute colorful outfit. Oh, that was like extra paint right there. And look at her little purple and orange stockings and the little green skirt. Ah, oh, she is a cutie. My bad. On the checklist, Cleo is a fantastic find. So it's actually Scalita that's a yellow and is going to be one of the frightfully uncommon. So we're still on the hunt for her. We have one more left, but let's first go back to a series one. We've had some, some good luck on, on those. So I guess, again, as long as you have the two last numbers are different, then you won't get a duplicate. Oh, cool. We have a Frankie. Is this the powerful? Look at how cute. I love the little lightning bolts going on. Oh no, it's not a power ghoul. That lets me find her on the checklist. Um, it's a little beach ghoul. That's cute. That's her little swimsuit. And she is a common. <laughs> That's really cute. I like, I love the little ragdoll legs. <laughs> okay, and last up for this video, our last Halloween one. Is it Scolita? That would be, that would be awesome. Um, let's take the wrapper off. I don't think it is. <laughs> I think it might be a double, but that's okay. So, oh, it looks like a 33 maybe? I don't know. <laughs> we have, oh, we have another Cleo, so it was a 33. So what number? I'm going to have to go through and see what number I was missing there. But that's okay, because she's absolutely adorable. <laughs> Love the little candy corn. Here's another look at all our super cute Monster High minis we opened today. You guys will have to let me know which was your favorite one. Leave me a comment down below. As for me, I absolutely love them all. They are so adorable. Okay, the Halloween series is, is kind of perfect. Um, I am missing Skeleta. It looks like she would be code 35 since I opened 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. Um, which that's a little alarming because at the 99 cent store, I did not see a 35, but they are hard to see. So I'm going to come back and see if I can find her. So stay tuned for that. But I love them all. And wow, um, I really miss Monster High. <laughs> So that'll do it for this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, feel free to subscribe and definitely check out my Monster High playlist for more little cuties. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.